hey guys congo goma was very wonderful from the community family friends the best organic food ever and not to forget the beauty of lake kivu views guys i enjoyed all of it to the fullest and i was grateful and now guys it was time to say goodbye to the amazing city that goma has become yo guys my experience was perfect amazing and i'll cherish those memories forever until next time goma ciao Uh, guess what guys the bus left me on the corner side so i had to take a motorcycle to this other side yeah so i had to take a biker or border border from goma to cross the border uh, but i used the grand uh, barrier uh, the big border uh, and uh, i just love the experience there because nobody is disturbing anybody like everything went smooth smooth <laughs> and like last time i used uh uh limited barrier uh, like like a small border yo guys it was uh, hectic like really hectic like those ladies mostly on the Rwandan side it's, it's fine but when, when now you go to Congo using the small barrier yeah, like those ladies there at the border they were so annoying very disturbing like checking into my past blah 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 yeah things like that but today I've used the one barrier yeah, like yo guys the experience was amazing nobody disturbed me I just got my document I they stamped me out of Congo or and and inside Rwanda, yo guys. So, so guys, if you're traveling to Rwanda, uh, like if you're traveling to Congo, sorry, uh, I'll address you use the calm barrier, like it has less complication compared to the small one. The small one, everybody there is creepy. <laughs> Yeah, and most of them they just want some some small thing uh, to be given. But the grand barrier, like they just behave, walking in the professional uh, professional way. Like, yeah, it was amazing. But yo, the bus almost left me. So we are getting ready to uh, to head back to uh, where Kampala. Yeah. And guys, this journey has not been busy, you know, traveling by myself all the way from Nairobi to Congo by road. Going back, hey, <laughs> it's only God who made it possible, but from the beginning I was somehow scared. I had some anxiety, but you know, guys, um, I'm used to it now, like, I can even travel to, is it Mozambique or Zambia? I've seen that also people there can travel by, by road, <laughs> yeah. So guys, if you are watching this video, let me know if the bus has ever left you and how did you chase it? Like for me, I had to chase the bus by motorcycle because I was with my sister like there at the bus station. Yeah, so I thought maybe when the bus will be leaving, I'll be called. Yo, when I went to check, the bus had already gone and like the bus had already uh, crossed the border because also here they have an issue uh, due to, I don't know what, uh, uh, somehow the border closes by three so anybody traveling uh, via Rwanda they have to be uh, they have to be at the immigration before 3 p.m. so let me know if you have ever been left by a by a by a bus or by your flight yeah let me know on the comment section 
and let me know where you're watching me <laughs> from your solo travel like, you know it's not easy like traveling and filming for you guys it's not from you know actually i thought that since i went to congo a new experience new country you know i thought maybe i'll vlog so much but yo the energy wasn't there but i tried my best i really tried yeah to vlog where i can Yes. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and keep sharing my videos. These people are not keeping time. We were supposed to start our journey by 4 p.m. But I think it's past 4. And Jaguar, Jaguar bus, actually, if you want to travel, a comfortly you can use jaguar bus this other bus that i'm using no like they don't keep time because i'm waiting for it here it has to come from the other end there are the back but jaguar they've left us you know and the bus seems comfortable so maybe next time or if you want to travel to uh, DRC, yeah, I'd recommend Jaguar, yeah, but not the one that I'm using, no. <laughs> yeah. Guys, as you can see, Jaguar is there living and we are here still waiting for our birth. Yeah. Finally, guys, the bus is here. Yes. Guys, I've asked one of their staff about the delay, and they've told me it's because the car was in Congo, so passing the border is a long process. But even if, you know, they should just tell us like the, the bus will be leaving for at 5 p.m. instead of 4, and then four it's four past four i think it's around four 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 thirty there i'm sure but anyway i'm glad it's here and finally we are going guys finally i'm seated and very excited and very excited for this journey yeah so yeah um, yeah i never expected the bus to be this good because the one we came in with from kampala it was so bad but this one actually is the seats as you can see the seats are very comfortable yeah I'll see you on the other side <laughs> So guys, the journey from Gisenyi to Uganda it takes around four hours, and then from the Sianika border in the Uganda side to Kampala, it takes like ten hours, which makes total hours to fourteen hours. Guys, I'm from getting my stamps, and I feel um, for East African like Congo, uh, we are not really on a free visa because somehow traveling by bus. Yeah, we've been paying some cash, so I'm wondering, like, what are we paying for? And yes, it was officially announced that we are in East Africa and we can travel we, without paying visa to the East African country. So let me do, know on the comment section if you've experienced this, like being paying for visa and yet we are in East Africa. So we don't know exactly what's going on. Yeah, but I've asked and they've said <laughs> on our end there back in Congo, like let's say Congo. Yeah. 